We, we got no science out of this little guy. Yeah, let's just send a Kerbal. Gosh darn it. Trying to send a probe out here is useless. Not giving us anything else. We either get to that Duna monument or they're not gonna they're not gonna give us anything. Just launch a vessel with at least four wheels. I guess I can just do that on Kerbin. Or we have to send 200 tons to Minmus. So yeah, let's just send a Kerbal to Duna. Okay, so we have to make sure that we have a Duna window again, which means a lot of time warping. I feel like instead of this arrangement, we'll try a more robust approach. Let's see, that's not really telling me in... It's not the Delta V in vacuum of that. Urban, vacuum... The, uh... That's parachute, that's that decoupler. Well, let me just get rid of these, maybe it's confused by those. Okay, well, there's some flaw to this delta V calculation because this saying it's 430 meters per second when this is all there is. I'm not seeing any other parts around here. This definitely has more than that. We don't need a bigger launcher. I would like a bigger launcher in this case, though. Uh, I think I want a conical fuel tank and then the 2.5 meter tank, so do no mission. Let's unlock those. Okay, that's the conical tank. Yes, we'll get that. Eventually, I'll want the fairings anyway. Probably we need that antenna for Jewel. Yeah. Let's just plan for that. Tempted to get those cones, but they're not strictly, strictly necessary. Okay. So Poodle... Poodle could do with some more juice. No, oh, that can't lift off. We'll add some boosters too. Let's really make use of the skipper as it was intended, like a hydrolock stage engine uh, with boosters. It, it, it's just always been meant as a hydrolock stage engine with boosters. It's like maybe people think the mainsail is the R68, but this is at least a volcano. Well, I don't know if it's strictly more efficient than the one with four boosters on it. But overall, fewer engines. The skipper, it depends on the pricing on the skipper, really. Should have a lot to work with, but... We have to land on Duna. So it's complicated. And at a precise location. And I didn't do that so well last time. Who do we pick as our... Well, finally, I don't want to pick Tim C. Ferber Kerman. Hmm. Neildon Kerman, Shondas Kerman, Theocot Kerman. That hairstyle should go places. <laughs> Pruki Kerman, Desmi Kerman, and then Jeb, Bob, and Bill. Uh, Val perished in a freak accident. Ferber Kerman. I'm gonna go with Ferber Kerman. Yep. Ferber Kerman may become the first to land on Duna. We will see. Still got the mod propellant in, but whatever. Okay, let's go. Oh, there's a science thing here. Oh, it's zero. We'll do a roll. Careful with those boosters. Okay, booster set. Very nice. No, we might be going too shallow and the pod might explode, so let's actually pitch up a bit. We probably should have slapped that same comm device on this. Or do the Kerbal Kerbals always have comms, I don't know. That's not a whole lot left in this stage. Guess we should use it though. Let's see what's going on exactly. Well, we'll have to make orbit first. Uh, Duna's a little bit closer than I thought it was. Anyway, 
Um, well, let's make orbit first, yeah. Uh, so a little left after making orbit though. Yeah, we'll just stump that bit. Okay. I'll make it easier to turn at least. Up this time we get an encounter directly without a mid-course correction. I can't really manipulate those handles well enough to do too much though. Uh, that might be good enough. I think the rest we can do when we get there. Doing the inclination right now won't be any good anyway. Okay, maybe we can get away without doing a mid-course correction. We will see. Keeps blinking signs, but I know we've done everything here. Lots of wobble. It seriously won't show me the actual encounter. Uh, uh, fine, we'll just do a mid course correction. We have a choice there. No, we need a lot of inclination. Anyway, I'll take that. 120 is more than I was expecting, but we will do that for Ferber. Where is Ferber's one solar panel? <laughs> I don't know if we need to worry about that or not. Well, Ferber is the first Kerbal that will be leaving Kerbin's SOI in this series slash save slash version of KSP for me. And there we go. There's no special science to do then? Kerbal High Orbit. No research? Okay, well I guess staring at the sun is not a good thing anyway. Oh whoa, Ferber is really... Oh, hold on, hold on. Fer Ferber is really going crazy there during the time warp. Yeah, look at that. Ferber does not like time warp. I haven't noticed other Kerbals doing that. Does time warping cause them issues? Oh no, she's okay now. Hmm. Maybe she needed to get used to time warping? Oh, Vessel is out of communication range. Well, that answers that question. But does that preclude us from actually landing at the site and getting science from Landing at the site. Risky poodle. 129 kilometers sounds good to me. All right. Looking good. Proceeding. Oh no, Ferber is going crazy again. Our orbital inflow is still carbon centric as far as I can tell. I'm a bit disturbed that sending a Kerbal into interplanetary space is not good enough for some science, but I'll pass on that. Okay, now we have some science. 129 kilometers doesn't sound too bad for a start. We'll wait until we get closer to do anything. We can't really transmit, right? Oh no, it did let us transmit, even though we were out of transmission range. At least it seems that way. So maybe there's some hope. There's Duna and Ike. <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. Gosh. Uh, I'm warping. That almost got me looking like Ferber right there, that time warp. This is a bit higher up than I thought, but uh, I think we're gonna have to do a lot of inclination stuff. In fact, let's just build that in, shall we? We don't want to land there at in the dark or anything. Don't see much of a choice unless we tilt the other way around, though. Maybe we'll land first and get power later. 
Should we just go ahead? Let's see... That should be okay, I think. Wish I could target the place. Should be interesting. Okay. Ditching the poodle stage. That's not active yet, right? Okay, that's what I thought. Can't see the location yet. Science is being done. Well, low orbit. I guess we can transmit? It says it's transmitting. And that we got those points. But that's nothing compared to the points that we would get if we could land there. Okay, come on. I don't know how much drag we're gonna get. go too much. I don't know how effective the reaction is gonna be. Okay, now we can see stuff. In science, we've got Duna Atmosphere Science. Don't mind if I do. Looks like we're pretty much in line with it. Now, of course, the Kerbal can get out and potentially EVA, but then can the Kerbal's jetpack have enough thrust to deal with Duna. We know the moon was fine, but Duna? Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna try and fizz warp here. Or whatever warp here. Uh, it's a very bumpy terrain around here. What we have left is probably enough to get back to orbit around Duna. But I don't know if it's enough to get back to Kerbin, I don't think so. We'll need some other mission to help out there. I'm just gonna land here and then have the Kerbal go over to the monument. I don't know what- <laughs> I can't tell what the slope is like. Seems slopey. Would the Kerbal even have enough in the pack to go up there? Oop, okay, 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 stop. Uh, too much lean. Eek. Okay. Well, Ferber's got a trip. Uh, let's see, what science can we do here? We should, we should go over there in daylight though. Okay, I'm gonna try and time warp to daylight with the pod leaning like this and see what happens. That's a serious lean right there. Okay, we are recharging. There's apparently more signs to- uh oh! Oh! Okay, made a crunching sound. Some experiments must be run by a Kerbal on EVA. Yes, we know. Okay, so time to go out. Ooh. Okay, nope. Okay, echoey sounds. Where's the monument? There's the monument. All right. Okay. I keep forgetting to adjust the suspension on those things. Okay, so run crew observation. We'll just do one at a time. Midlands. Our favorite biome. Plant a flag. Herber on Duna. So, after I do the things, will you be getting me off this rock? Question mark. 
It's a good question. Okay, some hiking. I'm holding down shift does make them move faster. They, uh, she is running. I want to conserve the jetpack fuel, so do as much running as we can. This warp. Oh, nice. Uh, careful. Oh, this. Let's not go into that ravine. Oh, that's the problem. No, over here. Oops. I was looking at the wrong icon. Over here is what we want. Is that like a little arc of Ike there? Is that what's going on there? What is this stuff? Ice? Duna ice? That's quite a formation. Okay, well this is very interesting looking. Ah, uh, okay, camera. Ah, uh, whoa! Okay, the camera keeps changing on me. <laughs> it's like, I was just trying to look up and then it... Very organic. Okay, so... Perform experiments here to earn new research points. Okay, experiment in progress. Wow, that's a serious sample. Run crew observations, I guess we should do that here too. I guess it doesn't replace the other ones, right? Oh, it says the region is already stored though. So we got surface samples and sample data for the monument and Midlands. Yeah. But the crew observations... No, no, we still got both. I don't know what I was talking about, though. Okay, so we've got a lot of science here. And then that's not even including what we're supposed to get for fulfilling the mission. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't climb it. <laughs> it's got weird symbols. Well, wait, those are numbers, isn't it? Do they write numbers the way... We write numbers? That's an interesting coincidence. Uh-oh. The jetpack doesn't... No. Oh. Uh. Okay, that's weird. Okay, yeah, the jetpack isn't powerful enough, but the Kerbal can jump. So, we can't really use the jetpack to get up there. But at least we'll be able to probably jump so that we can get back into the pod. Oh no! On crashing trajectory, I hope not. It just said that our mission was on a crashing trajectory, so uh oh. I hope we haven't tipped over. Please be alright, pod. Don't know what kind of icon that is. It's almost like a already tipped over icon. Uh, it looks okay. Well, it does shift though. And it's sure leaning. Well, I think we've done all the business here. We'll try to get back to orbit. Okay, good. Ferber is a pro at this. Okay, um, that's pointing retrograde. <laughs> Let me, actually, you know what? Just out of curiosity, let me go to Mission Control and come back. Luna Monument. It says check mark, so we can get the 1600. So we did fulfill that, apparently. Let's actually read what Kerry says. Building complex rocket designs. Thank you for the pen, by the way. Uh, okay. Images of this new monument suggest we barely scratched the surface. Sort of family tree. There's a Kerbal on it. Oh, okay. Squid faced being. Oh, the Kerbals are related to the. to the Kraken? Hmm. Anyway. Monument is. Oh, there's a paper airplane there. Is emitting a new signal that we'll need to decode. For now, I'd like to share the memo. Uh, there's finally, uh, she's saying important things here. The Institute of Old Stuff. The lead researcher is my old classmate, Levi. Or Levy. Carrie, Levy, whatever. 
Okay, um, real science only memo from the Kerbal Ashton. Okay, whatever. Read it together. We we need to read a memo together. How romantic. <laughs> anyway, um, I drink coffee flavored water. I mean, okay, whatever. Oh, memo. We're reading the memo now. It seems fate and destiny. Oh, it's more romantic than I thought. I have regret not telling you how I felt for all these years. Yep, I, I didn't realize it was going to be romantic. Go figure. Serial's mascot? Okay, this is going into much more... Okay, fine. All the important stuff is done, right? Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Better signal. Set up a vessel with a probe core and an antenna with a minimum range of 86 gigameters around Joule 4000 science. Well, that will be the next thing. But we've also got some additional uh, secondary missions. Big and Husky wants a 3000 ton test vessel to Duna. Th th did he mean that its launch is 3000, but... Uh, not 3000, 300. And the uh, Minimus one is launching 200, or is it really supposed to be that much on the surface? Land on Ike with a crew of three. Well, that I don't mind. Um, enter Eve's Sphere Influence. Sure. Transmit or return a atmospheric survey from Jewel. Well, we'll have to get the atmospheric survey parts. I don't want to do the little chonker and beacon husky. Okay, <laughs> but uh, it's, it's my principle that we should have trim small launches that are just big enough to do the job those are violating my principles okay let's go back to the Kerbal and see if the pod is still in a good position oh it just showed it i mean in this position it's not a good position anyway okay let's um uh... yeah let's go but I do want to go prograde, just because. Okay, we are departing. Where's the monument, anyway? But we'll probably have to have some other vessel pick up Ferber. Is the monument no longer marked? Uh-oh. Did we destroy the monument? I don't see it anymore. I think I might have done a bad thing as far as my trajectory is concerned, but we'll, we're gonna see. I've only got 181 here. I don't want it only marked for the mission. I want to revisit it. I hope it's still there. I don't see it. It's pretty tall. I didn't get a good enough look at it. I want to hover around it and take a look at all the little details. What if 181 isn't enough to circularize and Ferber's gonna have to get out and jetpack? And it'll be stranded in orbit. Waiting for pickup. I shouldn't have gone prograde. I could have gone retrograde and it'd been fine. Maybe. I don't know. The Duna's rotation isn't that fast, so. Oh, this doesn't look good. Uh, well, we'll need some time for Ferber to get out and make orbit with the jetpack. Okay, we have to abandon the pod, Ferber. You better have the science with you, though. Otherwise, we're not rescuing you. Oh, no, no. It doesn't work in time warp. Okay, well, in theory, Ferber is in orbit. And stranded. <laughs> oh, here, here. Research inventory. This is where it is. Ah, oh, I should have transmitted them. But anyway, it gives us a reason to rescue Ferber. So, anyway, most of it was a surface sample. So, Ferber's got the research. I thought just clicking that icon would 
bring this up. Because clicking that icon generally does bring this up. Um, Alright, yes. So Ferber is going to be hanging out, waiting for a rescue. And that is one thing we need to do. But we also have Jewel Mission. We'll, we'll see. I think I'll wrap it up here for today. So, uh, yeah. We'll get to the rescue mission and other things in a subsequent session. So with that, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.